So Stanford Law School, on uh, March 9th, uh, the Federalist Society, the Federalist Society at Stanford, I've spoken at the Federalist Society at Stanford years and years and years ago. I do a lot of my talks, I've done a lot of talks at, at, at uh, uh, Feds, Federal Society chapters all over the country, did a couple uh, a few months ago. Anyway, uh, on March 9th, uh, a, a district, is it a uh, Fifth uh, Circuit judge, federal judge, Judge Cal Duncan, was invited to speak at the Stanford Law School for the Fed Sox. Um, this is a, a Trump appointee. He's quite conservative. He's conservative on a lot of social issues that I oppose. But he is a Fifth Circuit judge. I mean, this is a guy who has a lot of power a lot of influence and, and has obviously achieved a lot in his career to get to this point. Um, anyway, uh, he, he started making his remarks. There were about 100 people in the audience and uh, clearly many of them were there to protest. I'd say most of them were there to protest. Uh, he couldn't get a word in edgewise. Every time he spoke, uh, people would, would make a noise and would jeer and would, would stop him from speaking. It's a, a common practice. I've, I've experienced this. At, Exeter University and, and many other places over the years. Uh, they've done it to me. Anyway, they were doing it to the judge, and, uh, and um, uh, he couldn't get a word in edgewise. Uh, they were yelling. They were screaming. Every time they'd quiet down and let him speak, they would yell. And he would start speaking. They would yell. And so it's this tactic of getting you going and then shutting you down, getting you going, shutting you down, which is dis particularly disgusting. Um, anyway, uh, at some point, the judge, there the, uh, the were uh, administrators, uh, university administrators in the audience because they knew it would be a little contentious, so they came. So at some point, the judge appealed to the administrators, said, look, you know, free speech. Uh, we, we, we entered this place. They're using force against us. This is wrong. This is not what free speech should look like. And administrators said, fine. And at that point, Tyrion Steinbach, the school's diversity dean, uh, went, up on st went up on stage, basically in front of the class, and basically said, you know, we need to restore order here, people. We need to restore order here. And then she took the podium and started going after the judge. Like, it's his talk. He's supposed to talk. She's supposed to create order so that he can talk. But no, she doesn't let him talk. She then goes into a rant about how horrible he is and how he is causing harm. And then at which point he opens it up to a QA and a for the, for the students, right? Uh, I mean, this is some of the quotes from, from by the way, from uh, this dean uh, with regard to, to the judge. And, and whether you agree with this or not, that's not relevant. Your opinions on the bench land as absolute disenfranchisement. Do you have something so incredibly important to say, she asked him, that is worth the division of these people? Right. So she's basically shutting him up. And, and issues of free, she says, you know, I'm here to defend free speech, uh, the, the free speech code of Stanford University. And then she kind of implies, well, I don't really agree with this free speech code in Stanford University. I kind of wish we didn't have this free speech code in Stanford University so that I could formally shut you down and shut you up. Um, so, and there's video of the whole thing, so you can find video of the whole thing on there. Um, this is, uh, uh, you know, since then, remember, there were, there were three, uh, three uh, uh, senior administrators there watching this whole thing and not interfering and not doing anything about it. Uh, in, in, in prep for uh, this talk, uh, the opposition to the Fed SOC put out uh, posters with the pictures of the Fed SOC members, these are students saying you should be ashamed and listing them in pictures, which I think is just uh, clearly intimidation. Uh, just, just horror, just horror. Um, you can't speak, you can't debate, you can't discuss, you can't disagree. The weapon of the authoritarian is force. And these leftist authoritarians, they want to ban speech that they disagree with. They don't want people to be able to speak, even when they pay for their own hall and bring in their own speaker and organize their own event. 
they're not allowed to speak. And, and, and this is clearly a violation of free speech. This is clearly where university security should have cleared these people out. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's horrific how I've seen this over the last 20 years. They, this behavior used to be prevalent even 20 years ago, particularly when I used to give talks on Islam and on the war post 9-11. But in those days, security was there, they'd wait a little bit, and at some point they'd say, okay, you've had your fun, enough is enough, you either shut up or we're clearing you out of the auditorium. And you can demonstrate outside, but you can't demonstrate inside. And that's gone. Now, no, it's complete mayhem. I invite somebody to speak in a, in a room that I signed and everything, and everything's prepared, I paid money, I've done all this stuff, a bunch of protesters come in and they can shut down the event and there's nothing anybody will do about it. It's just, there's no, you know, there's no understanding meaning of free speech and there's no defense of free speech today on, on our campuses. And, you know, this is Stanford University, the number two rated law school in the country, number two rated law school in the country. You cannot argue conservative ideas you cannot make a presentation about conservative ideas at Stanford University. Um, even when you're invited to do so. Now, what's happened since is the law school has apologized. This, this, th there was a huge uproar against this. Um, the law school has apologized. The dean has apologized. The president of the university has got involved. So, uh, you know, but uh, Tyrion Steinbach the school's diversity dean is not losing her job. She should. She should be fired, particularly given that she's got this dean of diversity title. She should be fired, but they won't fire her. Indeed, continued demonstrations are going on on Stanford campus at the law school, not on the side of those who want free speech, but those on the side that think too much free speech was already granted and who want now the dean of the law school to apologize for their apology. Stanford, Stanford, uh, a bastion of science and engineering and great, one of the great universities in all of human history. Uh, this is how low it has sunk. It is truly, I've talked about Stanford before, it's sunk low in many, many dimensions, but this is one of them and it's truly horrible to watch. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.